Hello, what's up guys? Welcome back to yet another 6pm, 4pm, 1pm FIFA 22 content video. And now, today, we do, I know for a fact, have marquee matchups, as well as player of the month, Bofana. Um, and it's the game, okay, we're gonna quickly re, um, reload in the FIFA Ultimate Team, because we have to check out the cards we've got for tomorrow. We have some leaks. Um, well, not leaks, I mean, they're, they're here. Just like kind of previews. So, we do have one Europa League, Champions League, and Conference League. I can't really base it. German 87 shooting. I think the left one is either Kasanowu, Jonathan Ta, or Tapsoba. Um, Leverkusen 82 pace. It could be a center mid as well. Um, I don't know who the middle one is. A German something... I don't know, with decent shooting, I think it was. I don't know. But those are the previews, as you saw. Let me know in the comments who you think it is, or well, who the three are. Um, do we have any promo packs today? Let's see that first. We do. We have eight 25K packs. If you want to go ahead and open up some 25K packs. Now, objectives. We have European Euphoria. So nothing new yet. In objectives, unfortunately, no new milestones as well. So that means we can quickly just go into the SBCs and see what we've got going on in the SBCs. So, we do have Seko Fafana here, who, yes, looks great all around. Three-star skill moves into four-star weak foot. Now, obviously this card from the front looks very, very, very good. Can't take that away from this card. However, 185K very expensive especially for this car in the game um you can easily use renato sanchez and he will do just as well in game um no upgrades available obviously he's a player of the month and for 195k it just seems very absurd in my opinion um good all-around stats obviously though but again tough to link being ivorian in league huh he doesn't really have any strong links beside Kamara and let's go, that's Klaus. So it's like mm, and Lens, obviously not Klaus is like the only good link on Lens pretty much. There's no one else really there. Um I mean, if you can find a way to link him into your team the thing is you you won't be able to have much of a um, ability to do hybrids in your squad, use multiple different leagues and stuff. You would have to do it one league on team. Or, like, three players from another league, and then Link. Because Fofana's going to have to have a lot of links if you want full cam on him. He, you could just play him on seven, but, you know what I mean? It could just be a little bit easier to just use Renato Sanchez, and he is much cheaper, honestly. Renato Sanchez is so good in this game. Um, yeah, so that's my thoughts on this. As you can see, if we go take a look right here. He is a 83-rated squad with one team of the week, an 84-rated squad, an 86, and an 85. You get terrible packs back again. I mean, a 15K pack, to be fair, for an 86-rated squad has been unheard of this year. So I guess that's actually not too bad for EA's perspective, or from our perspective of EA at the moment with pack return from SBCs. Um, like, you have to take a look here. You have the Seco Fofana card. Who's going to be tough to link into your squad? Yes, he is insane, insane, and yes, Verts is a cam, but Verts is 50k, 60k, or something. Good all round stats. Like, it's just comparing these two SBCs, Verts is miles above, in my opinion. Even though I, I realize they're two completely different players in the game. You see what I'm trying to say by that, though. Now we do have marquee matchups. For this week, we have a 35K pack, which I'm pretty certain is an 82 plus player out of that. Um, we do have IX PSV for a mixed players, a premium mixed players pack for Nice and Lyon. And then we have a small prime for Roma and Napoli. And then we have a prime mixed for Barca and Real Madrid. Um, I'm pretty sure, well, we can go take a look in a sec how much the marquee matchups come out to. Um, but yeah, once again, I always say this at the moment, since it's only a 75 rated squad to do marquee matchups, get them done. Um, once they start going up to like 79 rated squads, that's when they start getting a little bit more expensive. But at the moment, just considering you guys already probably have all of the cards in your club already to go ahead and complete these, 
Um, I don't really see a reason not to complete these marquee matchups because it's honestly just, I mean, they're simple and they're not requiring high rated cards or any of that kind of stuff. So that's what I say with those. Go ahead and complete them if you want. You can get yourself a decent chance at maybe packing something insane. Um, and yes, I do assume we do not have anything else going on here. Yep. Nothing going on. So that means we will go ahead and let me just get this set up real quick because there was an ad in the way. Um, we can bring over our PC screen overlay right here and kind of bring over Footpin real quick. So we're going to refresh this. So I have the updated prices immediately. Um, oh yeah, Fakir is not going to get an upgrade. Wait, no, it doesn't make him not going to be able to get an upgrade, but um, Leverkusen and Betis did tie today. Um, but if you haven't completed Fakir yet, I think he's still in. If you haven't, go complete that card. Um, but yeah, Fofana is the first one we're going to be taking a look at. 174k. Mm, three star skill moves, four star weak foot. Um, what would you want in this card? Probably an engine. Just, it seems to be a common theme. Theme, Engines are just like the best camp, one of the best camp styles in the game. It's just a common theme. So yeah, an engine looks the best on him. I don't really know what else to say. I mean, four star weak foot's actually pretty good for a center mid. A lot of decent center mids right now, you see like three star, three star. I and every center mid I swear it has three star, three star. So to be fair, to have a four star weak foot's not too bad for a holding um, defensive CDM or a box to box, whatever you want to play him. Um, so yeah, again, you know my opinions on that. I don't really know if he's worth it. Um, he got like a 50 50 vote right here, which I guess is fair. Um, but 59 obviously to the down vote side. I would downvote to it I just the price is a little bit too much in my opinion but we do have marquee matchups here which are 22k to complete as you can see people are loving the marquee matchups with a 90 to 10 percent and as you know we went over the marquee matchups already and discussed that they are probably just worth it um especially with the rare electrum pack holding an 82 plus and I'm pretty sure the prime mixed in there guarantees an 80 plus or something as well so you never know. You never, never know with that. So yeah, that's going to be it for that part. Um, now I kind of just want to take a look at objectives real quick to see what we would want to see kind of um, as I just move this back over here so we can uh, have that um, if that would work. There we go. Okay. Cool. Um, there we go. All right. All right. There we go. Now we can do this again. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So, um, I wanted to take a quick look at objectives to kind of like talk about what I want to see in objectives this year from EA, what we could be seeing from them. Um, so, obviously, this Andre is a bit of a disappointment because, honestly, Leal are not going to get upgrades in this car. Like, it's just not happening. It's, it's, it's not happening. No upgrades are going to are gonna come for this Andre card. Um I doubt they're going to win three games, and they're definitely not going to get through. So it's just a waste of time, honestly. They really should have released a better player that would at least have a chance. Lille had two losses, or a draw. I think they have two draws, actually, both nil-nil. They're not scoring, so it's just it's the last day he's out. But wait, he's out for five more days. Never mind. Why is he out for five more days? Um, and Tekka, I, dis I discussed it yesterday. It's probably worth it. And then Heroic Heights for the for Heroes player. Went through Max's squad. Oh, that's nice. Let me do that, to be honest. Um, but we don't want to see. We need to see some milestones, like, already. We need to see some of those league milestones. They were so good last year. This is something to have, players to have in your club. Honestly, I love that aspect of Ultimate Team. Just purely the card collecting part. It's, it's so fun just to, like, collect your own cards. I, I really just want them in. I, I want those things that we had last year in. Um, everyone loved them. That's why. We'll see them again. I just wanted to bring them out soon. Um, but, yeah, um, that's pretty much it. I just kind of wanted to talk some rubbish real quick. Don't really know why. I just kind of wanted to say that. Um, but, yeah. Um, let me know some cards that you want to see tomorrow in our Roads of Knockouts team, too, because it, it will be decent again. Hopefully, we get a better objectives tomorrow. Tomorrow, Hopefully, we do get an objective, because from what I remember, for once to watch, we didn't get an objective player the second week. Um, so, we might not even get one tomorrow. Hope we do. SBCs, hopefully, they're decent. The lit was okay. 
I have personally completed him. I know he's a very good center back, but yeah. Um, if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure you leave a like, comment, and let me know in the comments your thoughts on all this stuff coming up and today. And I'll catch you in the next one very soon. I'll see you then.